Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. It is a Monday. I'm leaving Keegan's today. I'm at Keegan's currently and I'm going to be driving back to London for a few days before coming back here again on Thursday night. So I'm not going to be back in London for long. I've got quite a busy fun week. But yeah, I just thought I'd show you. This morning my brand new treadmill has arrived. So excited. It's from Nordic Track. It will got delivered bright and early this morning. Um, we're going to put it in the garage later. But it is absolutely ginormous. It's an early Christmas present from me to me. <laughs> you guys know how much I love getting my steps in and I want to learn to run a bit more but I don't like running outside. I prefer to do it on a treadmill so I've treated myself as a reward for doing Vlogvember. I was like, you know what Joel, get yourself a treadmill. Um, you might be wondering why I've ordered it to Keegan's and not to my house. I'll come on to that in a little bit. Should we go for a walkies? Walkies, Ben? You don't have to tell to me like that. Walkies, Keegan. Walkies. <laughs> I think we're gonna go to a farm shop for a little breakfast, although we have just had biscuits, but shh, <laughs> lots of them. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go for breakfast at a farm shop. He's selecting his coat. Co What's your coat of choice? I'm just gonna go for a, a fleece. I don't know how. OOTD. It's a, a fleece spagliato. <laughs> oh, stunning. Stunning. <laughs> Guys, we've walked all the way here and it's closed. Ugh. Okay, I ordered in Northern and it felt strange because that says tea cake and tea cakes to southerners That's not what a tea they're meaning a sandwich And so I said tea cake and then I looked down at the menu and it just said sandwich like Bacon and egg sandwich sausage sandwich and I was like I could have just said sandwich but I felt so stupid saying tea cake The sandwich is a sandwich. It's yeah. the modality of the bread <laughs> So tea cake, I'm guessing, is for me a bread roll. Yeah, see, for me a bread roll is like a tiny little bit of bread that you get at a restaurant. Okay. I, you know, I don't know what I would call it anymore because it's... You're so bastardised. If you want to start an argument in the north, <laughs> yeah. you want to call it a bread roll. Well, because you all argue amongst yourselves as well, don't you? It's not just a north-south thing, it's like the biggest divide in the whole country is like, what do you call this thing made of bread? Yeah, tea cake, bread cake. Bar. Um, bar. Bun. 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 Muffin in Olden, they call it a muffin even though it's good. Yeah. Like tea cake. And then you can throw current tea cake in. Oh the, yeah. In the that was on the menu. Decadent. Decadent. Oh yeah, I like a deck. Well, butter. Uh, that's what I think a tea cake is sweet. So I would, yeah, a current tea cake. I'd be like, yeah, I'm up for that with some salted butter. Mm. Here we go, guys. Keegan's gone for egg and bacon. I've gone for sausage and ketchup. I'm eating again on your YouTube. Oh, I won't film you eating. Don't worry. <laughs> Ava, take that back. She's just stolen an apple from someone's garden. Take it back. I'm just teaching Keegan about touching trees and transferring energy from trees to your I body. I he's making it up. I'm not making it up. You close your eyes, you touch the tree. The tree oh. gives you energy. It grounds you. So you've just killed that tree by stealing its energy. No, he's got plenty of energy to give. How do you know that he? Well, I, I don't actually. They could be. I, I don't think trees have a gender. Anyway, I'm sure that you are thinking, you've seen the title of this video, you're like, Joel, can you just get to it? I'm gonna put my camera down so we can actually, like, talk to you guys. As you can see from the title, there's big news. And you're also probably thinking from the start of this video, like, why have you ordered a treadmill to Keegan's house? Well, you might have guessed it by now. Joel's pregnant. I'm pregnant. Um, no, I'm moving in with Keegan. I'm moving to Yorkshire. Ooh, I prized him out of London. He did. It's it's finally happening. I've lived in London 11 years and no one's been good enough for me to leave London for. Mm. How does that make you feel? I'm, I'm honoured. <laughs> well, yeah, we're very excited. Despite the look on his face, he is actually excited. I am very excited. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really looking forward to it, yeah. yeah. The countdown is on. Huh? The countdown is on. Oh, yeah, it is. Sorry, there's still like a language barrier. But him being northern. It's just because I've got um, old. Yeah, it's true. But yeah, less than six weeks to go as of filming this. Um, yeah. Yeah. Congratulations. Thanks. Uh.
Well, 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 guys, here we are in the future, two days later. <laughs> Firstly, excuse the giant zit on my chin. Not often do I have to whack out my makeup, the concealer. I don't wear makeup in videos. Very, very rarely do I ever have to use makeup to cover up spots, but I've tried on this one, but you can just see the sheen of it because it's so big. And I don't want to do this big video. Like, to me, this is a big milestone video that I will look back on, and I'm livid that I've got a giant spot. So I was like, you know what? I don't care, I'm not gonna dress up. I'm gonna put on a big baggy pajama t-shirt and go grab a hot chocolate. Oh, it was really cold when I left the house this morning, guys. It was two degrees, and it's hardly got any warmer today, so in a minute. I will have to put a jumper on because <laughs> I have just got back from being out all day with Leah and um, you know when you rush into your house and you're already hot from power walking in a coat and so I'm still a bit warm but it is getting colder in here. Right, let's get into this. Oh, guys, it does feel like a relief A, to have told you and B, that past Joel has sort of told you and now I don't have to think about how do I word this? Because I tell you what, when I tell you guys big news, there's always an anticlimax. It's like I'm expecting some big fanfare or like reaction, but at the time of filming, like obviously I'm just talking to a camera and it's silent. So um, I will just have to imagine that you guys are all saying lovely things and you're cheering or you're going, yay. So I don't know where to start. I basically told my members, my channel members, a while ago now, so they've been keeping a secret. So firstly, thank you to all of my members for keeping it secret and not leaking it in the comments. I really appreciate that. I received some really lovely comments from my members and so it's just given me the courage in posting this video because it is a scary thing to talk about on the internet because obviously everyone has their own thoughts and opinions and judgments and I'm sure there'll be some people that are like, eh, you're doing it way too soon. But luckily I didn't have any of that with my members. Everyone was like, well of course you're moving because you can't build a life with someone on the other side of the country. Of course you're moving, you're in love. Of course it makes sense, you've got to do it. It's the next stage of your life. So hopefully the rest of you will respond just like that. <laughs> and I know ultimately it doesn't matter how people respond. All that matters is how I feel and how Keegan feels. I know, come on then. <laughs> you want to be a part of the news? Yeah, because you're moving too, aren't you? It's not just me, it's me and you, because we go everywhere together. Yeah. Yeah. So me and Ava are moving in with Keegan up north. Um, so the nearest major city I'm going to be living by is a place called Leeds. It's not I would say a, a major city in the UK, although it's getting that way. Everyone in the UK will have heard of Leeds. If you're not from the UK, you might not. The nearest major, major city is Manchester, which I feel like all Americans have heard of Manchester because of the football team. But yeah, basically Manchester will be about 45 minutes away. Leeds will be about 20 minutes away. And yes, where do I start? There's no structure to this video. I also feel like I've already said this. So like, if you're a member, sorry if I'm repeating myself. So when me and Keegan first met, or Keegan and I, if you're being grammatically correct. On our very first date, we had this discussion where he was like, I know this is really soon to be discussing this, but I just wanna know like, if this does go well, and if we like each other, how are we gonna deal with the distance? I love that he brought this up on a first date. To me, that was a huge green flag. I know that some people would be like, oh, you can't talk about things like that on a first date. Actually, I think when you reach a certain age, when you're in your 30s, you don't want to mess around anymore. You're like, okay, cut to the chase. I don't want to be like dating someone, getting to know them slowly, 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 only to find out weeks or months down the line that they there's some big deal breaker. Do you know what I mean? So I love the fact that he brought it up on the first day. And he was like, basically, I'm never going to move to London ever because I've got the kids and I'm not going to move away from them. They live up north and mum lives up north. Like I'm, I'm not going to move. Balls in your court, Joel. This happened at a time in my life where I have been thinking about moving up north. I know I had just moved into this house with Lucy pretty much, but already my mind was drifting to, am I really happy here in London? It's been 11 years living in London. Do I want to stay here? What do I want to do? My dream, and my dream still is this, to be honest, guys, is to move somewhere up north or I was thinking Scotland at the time to buy a big old house because houses are cheaper the further north you go. I was like I could buy like a really big old farmhouse and do it up and film videos doing up this old farmhouse for you guys and my YouTube channel would become about that. 
By the way, if you hear clicking, it's Ava walking around on the laminate floor. <laughs> and that is still my dream. I mean, it's not gonna happen immediately, but maybe one day. And I've been toying with moving locations. The thing that stopped me was I thought, you know what, this is a really nice thought, but it would actually be really isolating and really lonely if I moved by myself up north in a new place to a big old house by myself. I mean, not that I could necessarily afford that big old house just yet. Anyway, that's by the by, that's for another time. So by this point, I had already been thinking about it. And so, of course, my instant answer to him was, you don't need to worry about that. Like, I'm not set on living in London for the rest of my life. I'm not one of these Londoners that's like, I can't imagine leaving London. I don't wanna leave London. I absolutely am open to leaving London. So I was like, you don't need to worry. As time went on, as the months went by, maybe a few months in, Keegan, and I would started chatting about when would I move in? Considering if things keep going in the right direction, when will you move in? Well, I was initially thinking, well, March next year will be two years since I moved in with Lucy. So that's like a nice sort of break. I don't know why it matters that there was a, you know, two years to the day, uh, but in my head I was thinking March. And then we had a conversation and Keegan was like, I think I'd like you to move in a bit sooner than that. And I was like, I think I would like to move in sooner than that as well. And so we decided, on January, so on January 14th, I am leaving London forever. I mean, hopefully. And I will be leaving after 11 years and starting a new life up north. Southern boy moves north. You may have noticed me complaining about being stressed or lots of organization and planning and all these things. And that is because, firstly, I've started moving some things out already. I've been taking carloads of stuff up to Keegan's because when the move out date comes, we are borrowing a friend's van, but I don't want to, well, you always have more stuff than you realize, don't you? Like, I remember in my last flat with Lucy moving in here, we were like, oh, we've got plenty of time to move. It'll only take a few carloads and we were stressed by the end. So I was like, I'll start moving some things up so that by the time the van comes, you know, there's not too much to take and I know it can all go in one load. So I've started to move some things up there. I've also put together a list and started ticking off all the things that I need to do, like changing doctor surgery, dentist surgery, getting a new vet for Ava, letting everyone know my new address, you know, banks, my car leasing, my agents, my manager, all those things that you have to do when you move house. I've been busy doing that and also you might have noticed that I haven't really been doing much DIY on the house and like my bedroom is still not finished off. Like I need to get some pictures on the walls. I wanted to get one more bit of furniture for the wall just opposite me over here. I have obviously stopped because I'm like, well, I'm not gonna be here. It's not my thing anymore. It's not gonna be my room anymore. I mean, it will always be my room, I suppose. And if you're wondering, I'm sure the question is, what's gonna happen with the house? Like, oh my gosh, what's happening? What's happening with Lucy? Da -da 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 -da. The plan is to rent out my bedroom to someone. So Lucy is gonna be here. And obviously it's so sad that I'm like leaving Lucy and leaving this house. I'm not actually sad about leaving London as a city, because I know I'll be two hours from London by train, five hours, four or five hours by car if I'm driving, but um, it's not too far by train. But I will miss this house, my bedroom. I'll miss Lucy, I'll miss the area of London that I live in specifically. But the thing is, is Lucy is also gonna be moving out next year. I don't wanna fully talk about Lucy's situation, because that's Lucy's situation and it's not mine and you know, she probably doesn't want her business spread across the internet, but it's looking like Lucy is gonna be leaving London as well next year. So we're probably about maybe six months out from each other. So yeah, Lucy's gonna stay here for the next six months or however long she'll be here for. And um, we're gonna find someone to rent my room for those six or so months. And then we're hopefully going to rent out the house, keep it and rent it out, obviously, if our circumstances change, if either of us needs the money, we might sell, but I doubt we will because the market's going like this, so we don't wanna sell yet. I mean, the house still has gained in value, which is great news, because we bought in the pandemic when the prices were down. <laughs> but yeah, we wanna keep it. It's an asset, it's an investment. I don't regret buying a place with Lucy at all. I know there'll be some negative Nancy's being like, you shouldn't have bought a house with Lucy, and this is exactly why. Well, no, because we've got an investment now for as long as we want it. The good news is, guys, is that Lucy actually went to university in Leeds. So she's got lots of university friends up in Leeds and she visits Leeds a few times a year. So I'm like, well, I'll obviously come down and see her because I still co-own this house with her and I'll still come down south to see my family, obviously, so I can see her then. And when she comes up to Leeds, that'll be 20 minutes away from my new home. 
So that'd be great. I probably missed out a whole load of things. So I will do a follow up video to this. If you have any questions or queries or if there's anything being said in the comments, I'm like, oh, I should set that straight. Then I probably will do another video of these because I haven't planned this. You guys know me. I don't script. I don't plan. I just open my mouth and hope for the best. What else is there? Yeah, I think as I said in my members video, it feels really weird. It's starting to feel real now because it's less than six weeks. I mean, it's, it's nearly five weeks now until I move. And it feels even less than that because I've got the Christmas break as well. I'll be at Keegan's for a week, my parents for a week, then back at Keegan's again for New Year. So I feel like I've only got a couple of weeks left in this house, which is really, really sad, but I'm not feeling it. And it's really annoying because I feel sad in my head. Obviously, I feel really upset that I'm leaving Lucy and I feel so torn because it's really bittersweet. I'm leaving this life behind that I enjoy, yet at the same time, I'm really excited to start this new life with Keegan up north and have a change of scenery and to build a life with him. But I'm not feeling upset. It's just I'm thinking it. When I spoke to my mum about this, she had to move far away from her family to be with my dad. And she was like, I think you might end up being like me, where you're so practical and in the moment while it's the build up. And I'm like, right, I need to do this. I need to do that. Say goodbye to this person. Pack my stuff. Take it. Needs to do this, this, this. She was like, when once I'd moved with your dad, it hit me how far away I was from my family. And I was like crying and I was upset for ages. And I think that could be me, guys. So Keegan, prepare yourself. Because right now I do feel just very practical. I'm like, right, get that sorted, that sorted, cool. I'll probably have a wobbly few weeks in January, guys, where I might be a bit upset and a bit emotional. So please bear with me in January because I'm already forecasting that to be an emotional month. The reassuring thing is, is I know at some stage this was gonna come to an end, living with Lucy, if not because of me, because of her and her life plans. So I know that I can't just stay in London because my friends are here and this is what I've always known, like, I have to go with the flow. And actually, you guys will be so pleased that I will hopefully stop moaning about how stressed I am going back and forth, back and forth, up and down the country. And I've wanted to tell you guys so much when I've seen comments being like, Joel, I don't, this isn't sustainable, all this traveling back and forth. I was like, I should just tell them that it's okay because I'm moving. My family are really pleased for me and they're sad that I'll be living far away from them because at the moment it's about an hour and 15 minutes to drive to my parents, whereas it's a full on five hour drive to drive to my parents and it's not really possible to get a direct train from Keegan's to theirs. So yeah, that is gonna be the downside. But the positive is, I suppose, is that I might spend more time with my family just less frequently. So for example, at the moment, it, it, sometimes I do have the occasional three to five days stay at my parents' house, but most often it's one or two nights and I drive down, visit them for a weekend or long weekend and go back to London. Now, I won't obviously want to do that five hour drive and just stay for one or two days. So it's probably going to be that I'll do that five hour drive, stay for five days or, or more and then go back up north. So hopefully I'll still get the same amount of time with my family. It might just be a little less frequent and obviously they can come and visit there's obviously going to be a lot more space at keegan's which is really nice i live in a tiny two-bed terrace house or well, technically it was listed as a three bed because of lucy's office but because the office comes off of a bedroom i think it's cheeky of them to say three bed so essentially it's two and a half bed terrace and keegan lives in a five bed detached house and get this guys this is how ridiculous it is keegan's five bed detached house over three stories is big was cheaper than my two bed terrace here in London. The prices are mad. I can't believe the difference in prices. But anyway, there's gonna be, yeah, more space at Keegan's. There will, there might be some DIY videos, guys, because um, me and Keegan are go, gonna be redecorating, well, I was gonna say his bedroom, but I suppose our bedroom. I mean, Keegan's been really good with that. Even just a few months in, he kept calling the bedroom our bedroom. And I was like, no, babe, it's, it's your bedroom. And he was like, no, it's yours as well. And I was like, Thank you, that's really nice. It's made me feel really welcome. So obviously we're doing all of that together. I know some people told me that they, they guessed that I was moving in with Keegan since we went tile shopping for the bathrooms. So yeah, some people have guessed, and I'm sure lots of you have thought it's only a matter of time until it happens. But anyway, I'm gonna wrap the video up there because I've been waffling on and I could honestly talk about this for hours, guys. I've been chewing 
everyone's ear off who will listen about the move. If you've got a bit more of an appetite to know what's going on and you're not a member, then consider becoming a channel member because I have posted a couple of videos, the announcement video, but also sort of a bit of an update of what's happening over on there. And as I said, I probably will do some follow-up videos to this and I am working on a final sort of goodbye to London video, which I've already started filming, but I've had some delays with it. So it's probably, I wanted it to be like the next video after this one, like in a few days time, but that's not gonna work out. So yeah, stay tuned for that. It might be a bit of an emotional one and I might cry. Who knows? I would quite like to cry, guys. You know me, I'm quite emotional and I've cried a few times on this channel. The tears aren't coming. And, and it's not because I don't feel sad about going. I do feel sad. It's just, I think it's a self-protection thing. My body is just like, no, you're not moving. And I'm like, yes, I am. And I'm like, no, I'm not. And I'm like arguing with, my, with myself. It's very weird. I'd love to know what sort of psychology that is. <laughs> Anyway, thank you guys. I hope you're really happy and thank you for watching. If you're new here, please subscribe. I post videos every single week and get ready for moving vlogs coming in January and Southern Boy adjusting to his northern life in the next year. So yeah, thank you for watching guys and I'll see you soon. Bye.